Hi guys, it's Tom DeMack for Sonic Academy, and today I'm going to show you um, a way of getting sort of sustained sounds, uh, in this case a pad sound, um, to sound a little bit tighter within your track and sort of play along with something else, another key element in the track, as opposed to sort of washing out the whole sort of melodic elements in the track that a pad or, or a sustained vocal would do. Uh, we can make it hook onto either a bass line or, or another key element which has got some sharp transients in there to catch on to. So I'll just play you the little loop. So we've gone for sort of a, a techno-y thing um, with a high frequency bass line um, that we, it's playing some very prominent notes, um, not very tuneful, but what we're going to do is introduce a pad sound for the melody element. But what we want to do is that's washing out quite a lot of the sounds at the moment. So in a club you're going to want it to hit through a little bit harder. Um, you want the melody aspect in there, however you don't want it sort of covering the whole mix. So what we're going to do is go into the Live Devices pane and grab a gate. Now we all know what the, the a gate does. But what we can do is use it to our benefits. Now, like, like a sidechain compressor, you can sidechain the gate too. However, it does the opposite to the compressor. It's basically not ducking out the sound as and when the, the sound that's actually the carrier signal hits. It's actually hit making the sound hit on those notes, so effectively playing along with the bass line that we're going to use today. So we're going to use the bass sound, which is channel 2, and we're going to input that as a carrier signal in the side chain. Now if we hear that now it's probably not going to be doing a massive amount. But what we want to do is pull the threshold down. As you can hear it's playing along with the bass line now. But we can tidy that up. We pull the threshold down. Increase the hold on the release, tighten up the attack so it's a bit faster, and then pull back the threshold again. So effectively what we've done, we've, we've increased the hold and the release time, so it tails off a little more naturally as opposed to being quite harsh. It's up to you, it's your own personal preference. I, basically it's filling in the gaps a little bit by having a little bit of natural release in between each hit of that pad sound. And then we've brought the threshold back so it's a little bit harsher. Let's hear it in a mix. Really simple technique, I use it a lot. Any sort of washed out, reverby vocal sounds and sustained vocals, it works really well and effectively with that too. I would recommend it. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.